everybody and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Dark Rising. That's right, we are back. <clears throat> now, uh, should probably activate the game. <laughs> we are in Atlantic City. Our gym leader, Typhoon, has a very playful yet yeah, mature view on things. Don't know why I made a Jamaican. Copper. If you're on your way to Atlantic Cave, I won't stop you. But there's been reports of an aggressive wild Pokemon and a well-known Pokemon breeder by the name of Brock attacking people of late. So you better be careful. No way. No way, Brock. I'll go check it out. So where is Atlantic Cave? Right, here we go. What's this then? Pete, what are you doing here? Hey, Xander. I'm here helping my father on some research. I convinced him to let me challenge Typhoon. Unfortunately, I lost. Facing that guy is almost like facing a tidal wave. Well, at least you gave it your all, right? You know it. No regrets. Okay, Pete's dad. How have you been, Sander? Long time no see. I'm guessing you're becoming an awesome trainer. Thanks. I can't tell him that my father's gone missing. He may go back to Fells and tell Mom. Well, keep up the good work. You're making all the people of Fells Town honoured. And I can't go past you! Why not? I want to go, I want to go by. So have I got to go in the cave first? Uh, well, this is Dead Swamp. I don't want to go to Dead Swamp. Do I? No, I came from Dead Swamp. Uh... Really? Oh, I can't get down to the gym anyway. Um, repeat, Dad. Oh, yes, I can. Ha ha. Ah. Yeah. Gym. Yo. Hello again, trainer. It's you again. Typhoon is a monster. Is a master of using water Pokemon. I advise you to use grass Pokemon. So basically, he's got a couple of um. Uh, those. Those guys that, uh, those, ah, uh, oh, shit, what are they called? Um, ground, ground water types, um, he's probably got a marsh dump or something. But I'll use Tynamo. Uh, most of the way I'm thinking. This is Misty's gym, obviously, so let's, uh, do that. Yo, buddy! That was a totally wicked battle. You said I'm next, to huh? Bag! That's not right. That's right, Typhoon, you're going down. You sound like one of them anime dudes, pal. Alright, prepare to be washed away by my title wave. And I might as well give it a go, I mean. Reskinned Brawly. Starting out with a Poliwhirl. Tynamo's got this. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I've got grass move on tiny map, haven't I? Lantern is an electric type, so Lantern is one of the ones that resists electric. But that's fine, because I've got Drain Punch, which will affect his water element, I assume. Hang on, tiny map. Drain Punch. What, that didn't work? Oh, shit. Okay. Fighting. I thought. I honestly thought it was grass type. Why is it? I don't understand anymore. Why is that fighting? Surely it works like a leech seed. A leech seed punch. No. Okay. Sharpedo. Go. That was a mistake. Hey, punch is gonna work. <laughs> Never used a sharpedo. In any in any playthrough of a Pokemon game, so that's definitely an interesting um, one to use for me. Ooh, bloody hell! Oh, well, at least that lantern's out of the way. He's got a seismic toad. 
So I said there'd be something that has a park ground typing. I didn't think Seismic would look like that, but hey, ground type. Surely you're weak to psychic, right? I can't remember the typing um, the typing chart. So let's just go with side beam. Skull's gonna burn me, I assume. Yeah, side beam does a chunk of damage, so let's uh, put it to sleep next. Don't burn. Good, you're asleep, man. I can take some health back with Dream Eater. I'll switch up to side beam because I've got a chance. I've got, I've, I've got a feeling he's gonna wake up. Gonna kill me anyway. Um, Staravia is up next. I'll go for a quick attack. I haven't got it anymore. Wing attack then. What? Staravia is not weak to water. All right, go Ponytar. I know you're a fire type. But if you're quick, quicker, and you've got quick attack, you can knock out Seismitoad. Next up is Poliwell, and I've already battered Poliwell, so I'll switch to Gabite for this. I know Gabite, Gabite's a ground type, but Poliwell's already taken a kicking, so I'm going to dig. Oh, you got you got in there with, with Hypnosis. Shite. Have I got anything that can help me here? No. I need you to go under. Oh, God, bite you fool! Okay, I'm left with Ponytar. I need to go and catch something, I think. Stomp! Come on, Ponytar. Ha ha! Down you go! And next is a Marsh Tomp. I am going to die. Oh well. I came close. I'm going to see if I can capture some sort of grass type. Then, I guess. Let's go see if I can find anything. I know I can go between these buildings. My cousin Paul. <laughs> Reference to the Sinner of Villain. Old man watching telly. His hand up, with his hand up his ass by the looks of it. Old woman staring at a table. I'm sure he's going to be a major character. Well, the gym's there. Where's this bloody cave that everyone shitted? That everyone shit in their bed, shit in their bed about um, about Brock raping people within. It's got to be somewhere over here, right? What's in this grass here? No, you're not the kind of type I need, but Tynamo can kill you. Because I think Tynamo's not far off evolving, so... Maybe Tynamo will be stronger when it's evolved. Okay, here we are, right. This is Atlantic... that's Atlantic Sewers. I came from here, didn't I? Let's just let's have a look inside. See where it goes. It's the uh, the old Canto Underground path, and there's a dude here. Hey, what are you doing down here? I thought I told everyone upstairs I'd be done in a minute. Uh, sorry, I guess. Uh, who are you, and why are you down here? My name's Max. I'm from the Hohen. It's Max. It's it's more. It's Norman's son. <laughs> My dad's a gym leader. I'm down here because I'm looking for clues to find the evil organisations that hurt my mum. Oh, what did they do to Caroline? I think Caroline's his mum, isn't it? There's a bunch of them. I think they're all forming together to create some sort of huge empire to take over the world. My sister was doing contests in the Omni region. We're going to run into May. I'll just stop their plans of all the match. Cool, we're fighting Max! 
Oh, I love that sprite as well. That is a really good sprite. It's got a leafy on. Shit, I've got nothing for that. Um, no, you killed my Tynamo, you cunt. Ghost of Ravia. Fucking rape that thing, will you? Oh my god, look at its level. I've just, I've just spotted its level. I'm probably not supposed to be here yet. He's got a nose pass. That's all yours, Sharpedo file. I mean, Sharpedo. I love you, Sharpedo. You have no water type moves. You're bloody useless. But that's pretty cool. That does the job. Dwebble. I'll still bite it. Crunch attack. And speed boost. Speed boost is. Um, Rock Wreck is going to hurt. But speed boost is quite useful. Go Mushana. Next up is Leafeon back again. X scissors harsh, man. Go to sleep. Mushana. Damn it, Mushana. Okay, go Ponyta. My little ponies lighting your Leafeon's ears all on fire. That hurt. So did that. <laughs> I'm expecting. You almost that evolution poker. Oh, you're learning takedown. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. 65, 90, 85. No. I'd rather have stomp. And a roll! Woohoo! Overheat. Set his hair on fire or something. Overheat! You're gonna slaughter me, aren't you, Ralts? You're building up your calm. Oh, God. Okay, stomp! Oh, balls! No! Now it's gonna be able to kill everything. Okay, go goodbye. Ah, physical attacks fuck you up. Still got a long way to go, huh? Hey, kid. Sorry, kid. I think it's because there's hidden items down here that traders drop from time to time. It's pretty hard to see them, but they're around here somewhere. What are these two things? Team Rocket, Magma, Aqua Galactic, and Team Plasma members have all been sighted in different locations around the world. These groups were thought to have been defeated and diminished. However, due to the recent signs, you can only wonder if perhaps they're returning or worse, forming together into one organization. What else is he I can't get to his other notes because it's an invisible wall. Oh well. We beat Max, which is a training opportunity, I guess. Um. I haven't got one. I could go and get one. But why would I um, trade you something that I can catch myself? Ooh, Ferris Seed! Now, I do need a Grass type. This could be the one. I could go with a Ferrothorn. See, I know a little bit about this, about this sort of stuff. When do you evolve into Staraptor, Staravia? But soon, I think. Wing attack! Ow, that's gonna hurt, isn't it? Do it again! Because I never learned my lesson. It might be worth it, I'm not sure. What's his moveset? Apparently it was a throw. <laughs> um, Giza. Now I want to kill one this time because that should be enough to get the way up to level 30. Drops your speed, ups your attack, and ups your defense. It turns you into, turns you into like a tanky wall kind of thing. 
Yeah, bug type moves against the flying type. Good idea, Sherlock. Fantastic idea. Did you think of that all, all on your own? Well, clearly, you did, because you haven't got a trainer to think for you. So it looks like we've got to we've got to beat that gym leader. Well, I guess the way we got to do it is we got to use the uh, the trainers as a training opportunity. So let's go and do that. I know he's got ground type, but I'm sure Tynamo can hold her hold his own against um, most of what he's got. There's another house in the town I want to check out as well. It's things like this is why I'd never, I'd, I'd, ooh, here. Are. The world's most known Pokemon breeder and doctor did this. I used to respect and honor that man. It's Brock. Be gone, you foolish child. What? Brock, what's going on with you? Ha 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 ha. The power of Entei shall be mine. Oh, I love that sprite as well. I really do like that sprite. It's brought with a doctor's coat on. I really like that. Crobat and Ludicolo. So he's got an, he's got a bitey and a uh, is that grass water Ludicolo? Um, either way, Spark um, and Aerial Ladies. I know the Crobat's going to be a bitch, but. I want to get rid of that Ludicolo. Right. Drain Punch and Aerial Ace. He's got six. He's got a Steelix! Oh, fuck. Okay. Um. Yeah, that doesn't work on Crobat, but Fire will work on both of them. Right, okay, so Tynamo, I want Drain Punch on the Steelix, why not? I'm sure fighting works on Steel. Um, and we'll go for a Dark Attack on it as well. I know the Crobat is going to be irritating, but... It's super effective, but still isn't going to be doing anything, so we're going to have to use Fire-type attacks then. We've got Fire-type, so we can do it. Come on, Spark, of course, flying type. Um, let's get you out of there. I didn't mean to send in goodbye, that was a slight mistake, but... Of course it's, we it's a flying type. That was a complete mishap on my, my mind, that was. Alright, um... Spark again. So, uh, no, Dragon Breath then. Go Ponytar. You're the next one I wanted to send out anyway. Felix is paralyzed. That's going to help me. That's going to slow it down. Everyone's going to get buffeted apart from me. Uh, down goes his, his uh, gold, his Crobat. And he's got a Toxic Croak. Okay. Overheat on Toxic Croak. And Dragon Claw 2. And I'll finish it. Toxic Oak will go down from the Dragon Claw. Steelix is left. And there's one other Pokemon, which is a Swampert. Right, so, Cro so Ponytar could be in trouble from that. So I'm going to go for a quick fire attack there and dragon attack on Toxic Oak. So I'm expecting um, Swampert to have a, uh, a water attack. So next I get my choice, so I'm going to go for Mushana next. I'm going to have Mushana put Steelix to sleep. I'm going to go for Dragon Claw on Swampert. Down goes Swampert. Mushana up to 31. He's sending out a Blissey, so he's got... Ah, oh, of course he has a chance here, doesn't he? Alright. I want you to put Blissey to sleep and get under and go underground.
<laughs> did work. Soft boiled is going to heal it, but hypnosis will put Steelix down. So, Dream Eater on Steelix, Dragon Claw on Blissey. Yeah, Dragon Claw did nothing. But that should deal with that should take st Whoa, Steelix is still still alive. Alright. We'll try for one more Dream Eater and you're going underground. Well that's Steelix then. There's Moshana and Gabite left against uh, Blissey on on its own. Might as well try and put it to sleep. Gabite's gonna hit it with a chunk of injury. But we want to stop it doing soft boiled, so we want it asleep, definitely. It's got leftovers and soft boiled, so we want to stop it from doing that. Aromatherapy as well. Shit, it's got all sorts of healing moves. I don't think this thing's. I think apart from Egg Bomb, this thing ain't got an attacking move. So now it's asleep, we can go for Dream Eater. Goodbye, will keep popping up from underneath, and I think Dream Eater should be enough to finish it. No, it wasn't. It's going to heal from its leftovers. Same move set. Dream Eater should finish it though, I'm hoping. Oh no, it's awake! So Dream Eater's not going to hurt it. But I don't think it's going to get an attack in, so... The dig will finish it. Oh, it's goodbye. I'm sure it does, doesn't it? No. Ah! I must go to Ente. You'll regret this day. Yo, Xander! Axe? Block it away from me. Good job on defeating him. You've really gotten stronger. You bet. No! Oh, fuck! I'm gonna battle you with a half ready team! I only took a step forward. I wanted to see where he went. He's got a rufflet, and I've got a Staravia that's poisoned to, poisoned to shit. Okay. I think I can still take you, though. Go, Sharpedo! Sharpedo didn't even get in the battle, so Sharpedo's my uh, tough, tough, tough guy to go. You know, he's got a he's got a Charmeleon. Nice. Can I have a Charmeleon? Okay, it's got Brick Break, which is strong against me seemingly, but Sharpedo's down. But I did do a chunk of damage to him, so I'll let Gabite do his job with a slash attack. I do like the friendly rivals kind of idea. Um, much preferred to, obviously, uh, you've got dragon moves. Oh dear. Of course, Charmeleon has dragon moves. Yeah, and isn't a dragon type, so I can't uh, return the favour with them. That's a dragon, though. So I can return the favour and knock it out with a dragon claw. That's Mashana all over, isn't it? Bulk Up's gonna up its attack, but Psybeam's gonna hit it like a ton of bricks. And down goes Gerda. Something's gotten into him. Me and Ash tried to stop Brock, but he managed to go away. You met Ash? Yeah, you should go see him. He's on Atlantic Cape having a date with Pikachu. <laughs> Just kidding. He's there investigating some ruckus in Atlantic Cape, so you better get info on battling. That's not going to help us, is it? Well, that's going to help me in terms of rebattling trainers, but we need to go and um, we need to go and end the episode off here. So this has been another episode of Pokemon Dark Rising. We'll be back next time when we'll head towards Atlantic Cave because we're going to do that do that stuff first. Looks like that's the right levels, and um, obviously then we'll take on the gym leader uh, somewhere down the line. Um, yeah, so maybe we'll be meeting the Pokemon champion Ash Ketchum. 
Again, I have a pro I have a slight problem with Ash, Ke Ash Ketchum, the character from the anime, being anywhere near a championship match. But <laughs> that's mostly because he sucks. Either way, we'll go there and maybe I'll get to dick slap his Pikachu into submission. So we'll see you next time for more Pokemon Dark Rising. Make sure you're here, prompt and early, ready for action. Because if you're not ready for action, I will push you down the stairs. See you next time. Goodbye. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Dark Rising. That's right, we are back. <clears throat> now, uh, should probably activate the game. <laughs> we are in Atlantic City. Our gym leader, Typhoon, has a very playful yet yeah, mature view on things. Don't know why I made a Jamaican. Copper. If you're on your way to Atlantic Cave, I won't stop you. But there's been reports of an aggressive wild Pokemon and a well-known Pokemon breeder by the name of Brock attacking people of late. So you better be careful. No way. No way, Brock. I'll go check it out. So where is Atlantic Cave? Right, here we go. What's this then? Pete? What are you doing here? Hey, Xander. I'm here helping my father run some research. It's dead. Oh, yes, I can. Ha ha. Ha Yeah. Jim. Yo. Hello again, trainer. It's you again. Typhoon is a monster. Is a master of using water Pokemon. I advise you to use grass Pokemon. So basically, he's got a couple of, um. Uh. Those, those guys that uh, those ah uh, oh shit what are they called um ground ground water types um he's probably got a marsh dump or something. But I'll use Tynamo. Uh, most of the way I'm thinking this is Misty's gym obviously so let's uh, do that. Yo buddy, that was a totally wicked battle. You said I'm next, huh? Bag. That's not right. That's right, Typhoon, you're going down. You sound like one of them anime dudes, pal. Alright, prepare to be washed away by my tidal wave. And I might as well give it a go, I mean. Reskinned Brawling. Starting out with a Poliwhirl. Tynamo's got this. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I've got grass move on Tiny Mouth, haven't I? Lantern is an electric type, so Lantern is one of the ones that resists electric. But that's fine, because I've got Drain Punch, which will affect his water element, I assume. Hang on, Tiny Mouth! Drain Punch! What, that didn't work? Oh, shit. Okay. Fighting. I thought. I honestly thought it was grass type. Why is it? I don't understand anymore. Why is that fighting? Surely it works like a leech seed. A leech seed punch. No. Okay. Sharpedo. Go. That was a mistake. Hey, punch is gonna work. <laughs> Never used a sharpedo. In any in any playthrough of a Pokemon game, so that's definitely an interesting um, one to use for me. Ooh, bloody hell! Oh well, at least that lantern's out of the way. He's got a seismic toad. So I said there'd be something that has a park ground typing. I convinced him to let me challenge Typhoon. Unfortunately, I lost. Facing that guy is almost like facing a tidal wave. Well, at least you gave it your all, right? You know it. No regrets. Okay, Pete's dad. 
How have you been, Sander? Long time no see. I'm guessing you're becoming an awesome trainer. Thanks. I can't tell him that my father's gone missing. He may go back to Fells and tell Mom. Well, keep up the good work. You're making all of the people of Fells Town honoured. And I can't go past you! Why not? I want to go by. So have I got to go in the cave first then? Well, this is Dead Swamp. I don't want to go to Dead Swamp. Do I? No, I came from Dead Swamp. Uh, I, really, oh, I can't get down to the gym anyway. Um, the 